Hi you guys, Cleopatra here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be eating this place called Nations. Well, we're not gonna be eating Nations, but we're gonna be eating food from Nations. I got cheese fries and I also got a Harvest burger. So it's a veggie burger. Um, they call it meatless. And I also got a loaded grilled cheese as well. So let's just get right into it. I'm so hungry. If you guys saw wh where I was parked right now, you'd probably laugh because like it says don't park here. But I don't know, there's no lighting. It's late again, but I'm hungry. So let's just get into the food. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh no. Oh no. It's dripping. Mmm. Sorry, you guys know me. I get so hungry in the beginning. I'll start talking once I eat like half of this. <laughs> mm hmm. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to get you closer to me, and I feel like I'm just making it worse, but all good in the hood. All right, you guys. What's been going on? How are y'all? I completely forgot I got so much sauce for this. I'm gonna get some sauce for us. Mmm. So this place nations. If you guys are from like the Bay Area or San Francisco, I think, um, where they have them. I think this um this restaurant was originated in like San Pablo, I think it said. I just looked it up because I thought it was like a chain restaurant and it like kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Um, all right, I'm going to go in for this burger, you guys, because I'm not going to lie. I've been sitting here trying to find a parking spot literally for like 20 minutes, I swear. All right, this place is known for big hamburgers, so <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, now that my jaw's broken, it's pretty good. Yeah, this is like outrageously large and I don't think <laughs> he can do this. I'm gonna try for you guys. Mmm. Ah. This is so messy, you guys. The amount of driplets from like the mayo and the sauce is getting all over my car. I gotta clean like the interior, but the outside's a mess too. You guys, I failed my smog test in California. So annoying. So I gotta go like retake it and like get my car fixed. But like, I don't know you guys, it's just, we didn't, I don't think like in Boston we, they checked that. I don't know, am I just stupid? <clears throat> Probably, but yeah, so I gotta go do that. And then I didn't see you guys last week cause I was in San Diego, so that was so fun. Okay, let's get some more sauce going you guys. So yeah, let me tell you guys a little bit about San Diego. If you haven't been, I got a little ranche right here. If you guys haven't been to San Diego, definitely go. It's definitely worthwhile. Super fun. It definitely gave me like nightlife vibes. Very like preppy and outgoing. Some people were kind of rude, but I said it the other day, I was like, I have come across like no rude people here. Oh, well, maybe like some people from my job, but we're like salespeople, no one likes us. 
Yeah, in San Diego, I don't know. It just seemed like everybody was very pushy. Um, maybe like out of line is a good word. But then I realized like it's a bunch of college kids. Oh. We were leaving the club and like a lot of these kids were just saying like really like rude stuff. And then they were talking to us. I'm not even going to repeat it. But they were talking to me and my boyfriend. One of them said something to this homeless guy. And I literally wanted to punch him in the face. I'm sorry, you guys. But it was it's just rude. So I was like, I started yelling. I was like, I was like, you're talking about this homeless man. You're a POS. Like, because he, he was. Like, it was a POS. I know it when I see one. But, I mean, other than, like, those little tiffs here and there. Oh, and then at the club, you guys, like, no, like, all right, I'm going to get into it. Uh, people were getting a little out of line, now that I think about it. And then at the club, like, um, one night, like, there was a bunch of kids at a table. Mind you, there's, like, five guys, right? Like, just dudes. I don't know, you guys. I might have let this sit way too long. But I'm trying. <laughs> So they're at the club and they have a table and like basically Zach's back is like this. So it's like in their zone, but like he wasn't anywhere like in their territory. I and mean, this kid has the nerve to push him and he's like, stay over there or something like that. And Zach was like, y'all ain't even got no bitches. <laughs> It's true though. Like you guys are just mad because you're at a, a table that you spent fifteen hundred dollars plus, probably for it, and then you have no girls with you. The only girls I'm gonna show these off, you guys. I don't know. There's just like a light in my forehead. I'm sorry. I'm like, hey, I'm here. I'm just gonna go like this and like duck down. I wish you guys could see the food better. Let's just get to eating it, shall we? So yeah. I think they were just mad they had no girls. Oh my god, these people are probably like, what are you doing? Mmm. I love California. Mmm. Only here can you pull something like this. Like, I'm literally parked in front of like a... I don't even know what it is, but it says do not park here, security cameras, and I'm literally just parked in front of it using the light, the only light I have, and then people just drove by me, and like, I don't know, no cops come by here, I'm like jinxing it, like, knock on wood, but I don't know, you guys, like, I love it out here, it feels so free, like, in Boston, if I tried to do this, I would've got pulled over in like two seconds, like, literally two seconds. was I so he pushes him and then I think the same thing happened and it's like and they had no girls they had no girls and it's like what are you so mad about the fact that you spent a million dollars on this stupid little rinky dink table I don't know ladies I know you guys agree with me I know I don't have a big female fan base but the girls that do watch like tell me not like I'm sorry guys but it's true if a guy's gonna be like, yeah, come sit at this table and like drink all this and then like whatever, like and you leave, like who cares? Like, why did you do that? You should have. You have to basically, these guys gotta like go out on the field first. And like, you know, once the girl likes you, then you can bring her to the table because she thinks you don't got nothing, you know? But if you have all this stuff, like any girl's gonna take it all, you know? Hmm. Huh. Um. But yeah, you guys, I have more sauce. I don't know where it is. I got honey mustard. Um, I just don't know. I got so much sauce. I got so much freaking sauce. Oh, I found it. Oh, yay. 
You guys, I went to Target, uh, Target, Walmart the other day, and I got this top. You should see the pants I have on. You guys are gonna love the pants I got on. I really just cannot move right now. I actually have a really bad cramp because I keep going like this. It's all messy. Mmm. <laughs> I'll say this, they load this up and it's messy. <laughs> mm. If you're from Northern California and you love nations, let me know in the comments down below. I was gonna try out the onion rings cause I've been Googling this for a while and the onion rings are like super large but she said that they didn't have them. I love when the onion ring is super big. You can eat like one of them and it's like, it's like eating a whole little small like thing of onion rings from like Burger King, I don't know. But yeah, I hope the camera's like a tiny bit better. I just, um, I'm getting such a leg cramp right now. <laughs> like you guys have no idea. Uh, I'm a bourbon machine today. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the dark. So besides that, and like the people just like kind of being a little rude, and like the silly like club shenanigans that everybody knows about if you've gone to like two, at least two clubs, like, I'm about to go on a tangent, but like, I hate clubbing. I've clubbed for years, like, whatever but like I hate it I hate it I was sticking it out because we were you know I'm with the boys like it's my man's b-day like <laughs> like he's not even about it either he wants to go play call of duty literally like <laughs> I just feel like we're getting old and we both partied enough where we're just over it and it's like all you do is get like I'm about to go on a rant like all you do is get drinks spilled all over you people stepping all over you and pushing you and saying mean things to you you're sweating to death um you know the claustrophobia is like out of this world and the anxiety and then you know you've got overpriced drinks i don't even want to tell you guys how much i paid for two drinks and i'm so cheap like it literally hurts my feelings even thinking about it or like whatever i think it was literally like 50 bucks for two drinks and like two drinks i mean like those little tiny like little styrofoam little whatever like they're like this big and it's probably like four ounces of cranberry compared to like the vodka i got like two cran vodkas fifty dollars i was so mad <laughs> i probably didn't say anything because like i said i didn't want to ruin his birthday any other day i would have been like Neh. but like that got me so mad i was like why like why and i get it you're at a club and then like well like i do and i don't and we were just sitting in the corner at one point because it was so small. Like, the first club on the first night was pretty good. And then the next night, like, the club was just just too small. Ugh. Let's just say the club was too hot to handle because, like, it was hot in there and, like, super claustrophobic. You guys, I'm getting kind of full. Mm. I gotta show you my pants. But besides that... All right, I guess they have them in Boston, but in Cali, let me know if you guys are from Cali and if you are, let me know if you guys have ever driven those scooters, the ones that actually like, they go fast. I think they go like 25, they probably go like 30 miles an hour or something. And we just like zoom around it on them, like in the city. I remember one morning, like I woke up and I was like, I wanna go get a coffee. And, like, Zach and I were like, okay, like, let's go. Like, Zach's like, let's go. So we hop on a scooter, and, like, I'm on the back. It was just so funny. Because if you've been to Europe, um, you just know that, like, a lot of people use, like, uh, what do you call it? Is it a Vespa or whatever? Oh, I've, like, I just have seen it. Like, in Europe, they use, like, those, like, whatever. Like, a lot of them. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I feel like I'm in Paris right now. Like, it was so funny. 
and we went to the cafe. It was literally like amazing. We go to a cafe and we get coffee and like little sandwiches. And then we like rode back on like the little scooter. It was so funny though, cause like, well, like we could have got hurt or whatever. It's not like such a, it's not like such a Karen, but like we literally could have got hurt. Like I'm like hanging off the back. I literally put my coffee in his pocket <laughs> and then I held the other one and held on. I'm like, <laughs> That was definitely the highlight of my trip. Like, a million and one percent. You guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll say this. This was amazing. Like. This was like diner food. I thought that it was like a chain. But. Either way. Like, it's so good. I'm really happy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I got tea for you, though. Let's sip tea and eat pie because we are at Nations. Nations is home of the giant cheeseburgers and the pies, I guess. So they have a bunch of pies, like I said. Um, you guys don't even know how messy this is right now. Like I literally like, whew. sorry, you guys. I'm gonna show you my pants while I got a break. Look at, they look like shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Sorry, you guys, I'm so bloated. <laughs> like I don't even wanna move, but I wanted to show you them. Uh, and their bell bottoms too um but anyways it's so weird because i wasn't in a good mood this morning but now i'm like so happy i was excited to film my mom literally got me in such a mood mom if you're watching this the motivation monday is there like <clears throat> today she was like i haven't seen you on youtube like you need to film <laughs> i was like i was like dude i'm just trying to get my life together man and i told her i was like i went to san diego like uh, you know my I keep saying my man. I think I say that because, like, a friend of mine, well, my best friend, um, we always say, like, a friend of ours, he always says, like, my man. <laughs> so we always would joke. Um, but, yeah, like, Zach's birthday, like, my man's birthday, um, the trip, just life. I was um, busy last week, and she's like, we need to get you monetized. <laughs> Mommy forever. Love you for the support. All right, but anyways, on a side note, you guys, um... There was some tea, there was some drama. So, I uh, get this. Like, I don't need to name drop, but. I mean, it's kind of obvious. So, Zach brought um, our roommate, which is his really close friend, and his other really close friend that he was also probably gonna room with, but whatever. Like, I don't know. Like, it's, it seems like it's weird, because it's like, why didn't they room together? And like, whatever. That's another story for another day. But like, get this, right? So, maybe this is just why, like, Zach's like low key, like, whatever with this kid. Like, this is his boy, and, oh my god, you guys, I think I spilled, I spilled, like, a, I spilled, like, a tomato. Yeah, you guys, I spilled the tomato, like, literally in my seat. All right, let's get the pie going. I know I'm ranting, but I really wanted to talk to you guys. It's been a minute. All right, so this is a pumpkin cream pie. I'm excited to eat it. You guys, I'm so mad. They didn't give me a spoon, and I don't feel like going in there right now. I gotta go back in, because I'm gonna get Zach a cheeseburger, bacon burger, or whatever, and a pie. <laughs> he kept telling me, like, 80 times, bacon burger and the blueberry pie. Um, but anywho, where was I? So, the tea. So, he brings his two friends, and one of them, like, I don't know if he's having, like, money troubles or whatever. Like, I know he's fine. Like, he has money. Like, he's not, like, he's not struggling. Like, he, he's, he's full. Like, he's good. Um, and like, obviously we went away and like, like we're all cool. Like, dude, we know we live alone in Northern California. Like if you couldn't afford it or like you didn't want to spend the money, like whatever. I know it's your boy's birthday, but like, this is the catch. Like he came out, right? And he literally, oh my goodness, you guys. Who is that? Okay. So is the coast clear? I'm just going to take a couple bites. They didn't give me a spoon. I'm going to try to eat it. I'm going to show you guys. All right, so anyways, so he comes out and he doesn't pay for like anything the whole time. Mmm. Come now. All right, you guys, enough of the, the, the thumbnails. So he doesn't pay for like anything. Like one time we went to go get a coffee in the morning. It was actually when we were coming home. We went to like a cafe like we were like we were like stalling because like we did not want to drive back it's so annoying the drive sucked i didn't even feel good whatever 
And like we got like a coffee that was like four ninety nine, and he literally cash apped Zach like five dollars on the dot. And then Zach's like, if I really wanted to be petty, like it's way more than just like five dollars or like you guys. I'm a mess. <laughs> I got cream all over me, but you know what I mean. It's more than just like five dollars. Like he just like was just being rude almost at that point like it got to the point where he was just being rude like at first it's like okay like maybe he's struggling you know he's doing what he can then it's like everything was like an issue and like uh -huh, mm, mm. and when zach's not like he doesn't care and he it's his birthday it's his birthday i'd care i'd be like everybody paid for me or whatever like he didn't care like he, he put in his half every time even though we told him no like we, were, we got it or just like that's so lame like it just don't come at all just don't come at all and like the weird thing is they want us to go to LA him and his roommate um, my best friend my other friend she lives out here like they want us to go to LA on Halloween and he doesn't even want to go anymore and I'm like I totally get it like why would you want to go like am I gonna pay for everything when I go there like are you inviting me there to pay for everything like I hope not like I don't want to think that way but it leads me to think that way You guys, <laughs> I have a little, I'm going to whip cream on my nose. I was just trying to make a point that this is huge. <laughs> I'm just like ready to like be back into this like full on. Um, I really want to try to do two times a week like I used to. Um, just, just please, please, please genuinely believe like I got a lot going on right now. Um, currently like totally doing a 180 with my life. And I'm excited like. Sometimes I get nervous and like whatever and I know everybody does but like PSA like you'll be good just like keep it pushing Because I had to literally tell myself that today like I was just like with the adult with the adulting it was like There's just a lot of adulting lately <laughs> And it's fine like I actually like it it's not even that bad like I'm not even that It's just like everything is like taking a little longer and I, I took a little long just because like I'm having like fun but Everything's gonna be all right, bud. If you guys ever saw Hannah Montana, they always used to say that. All right, you guys, I'm rambling. I gotta go get him this bacon cheeseburger and the blueberry pie. Um, like, comment, and subscribe on the bottom. And no promises, but I'm gonna try to be back on Monday. All right, I love you guys. Bye.